Hello friends, in my previous videos, I have already discussed about the MOSFET device structures and uh, the operation of MOSFET, okay? So basically, what we have done in our discussion on the operation of MOSFET, initially we have taken this basic structure of MOSFET, where initially nowhere we have applied potential, whether you consider body or source or gate or drain, nowhere we have applied any potential, that is you can consider like all those were grounded. Now after that we first applied voltage on the gate and as this is in MOS, so we have applied positive uh, voltage in the gate so that the gate can attract the minority electrons from the p-type substrate and can and later can form a channel okay so basically so gate we were providing positive voltage and we got this kind of figure uh, let me show you yes here this is this was the uh, figure which we got that is here i have not drawn the body terminal because body terminal is short circuited with the source terminal right and drain also uh, grounded and only in gate we have applied positive potential right so just have a quick recap initially what happens if vg that is applied positive amount of gate voltage is less than threshold voltage of the mosfet what is threshold voltage threshold voltage is minimum amount of voltage required for the mosfet to form a channel initially what happens if vg is positive the electrons that is minority electrons from the p type substrate will come in the upward direction and in the p type substrate just below the insulator layer what will happen they will recombine with the uh, in the crystal they will recombine with the holes and they will form in negative charges of dep depression region of negative charges how this is formed here we have discussed that basically have a small discussion let us have a quick recap that is ga we have talked with uh, ga in silicon crystal so electrons which are coming from the downward direction will go to the uh, this part and they will recombine with the holes so as a result what will happen now ga has one more electron uh, than the standard one so that now it becomes ga minus so that in this way if you check the description link you will find um, a detailed explanation of these uh, cases uh, I am not going to discuss in detail because there is no meaning of uh, them explaining two times uh, same concept in different videos. Okay, so basically, so if gate voltage is greater than zero but less than the threshold voltage which is required to form a channel of free electrons or holes in the in between source and drain what will happen first there is a depletion region is formed okay this is very important and then after that if you further increase the gate voltage then what will happen see here there is a channel of mobile free electrons is formed in between source and drain okay this is what about the operation now can you tell me that what kind of figure is coming like this? What kind of passive device you have studied in your basic electronics course, which is almost similar to kind of like this? Just you consider this picture for uh, so that you can understand easily. You just consider, see here, forget about source and drain because they are grounded. They will not have much activity. See, gate here, this is one conducting layer then one insulator layer of SiO2 or some other metal oxide or polysilicon then there are free electrons that means which is also free electrons are negatively charged so that I have shown a negative so basically see one conducting plate which is connected with the positive voltage that means that conducting plate will be positive so one positive conducting plate then one insulator then one negative conducting channel of free electrons that one also we can consider as negative conducting plate so one conducting plate that is positive then insulator then negative conducting plate what is that correct capacitor so that we can say that there is a capacitor formed in the uh, in this region okay so now in my this video i am going to discuss about mosfet acting like a capacitor which is very important in understanding the operation of the MOSFETs and later if you come to VLSI that is uh, uh, in the fifth sem or sixth sem you might have that subject and there you will understand this importance due to this there is a delay and you have to calculate the delay between input and output lots of things are there I am not going to discuss that part but I am going to give you the idea that how MOSFET acts like a capacitor okay so basically this was our figure right in gate we have applied 
positive potential but drain and source were grounded just like this case see this case only we have taken there gate and source are grounded and uh, vg is what vg is basically uh, given voltage okay so see as source and drain are grounded so one thing obviously you can conclude that the mosfet will not conduct any current because there is no potential difference in between source and drain so there is no possibility of flow of current in between source and drain simple right now so first let us try to think about what will happen if we apply negative potential we know what is what will happen if we apply positive potential there are two cases first depletion region of negative charges will form negative immobile charges later the channel of free electrons will form just below the insulator layer that is what about the on applying the positive gate voltage just try to think in the reverse that is if you apply negative gate voltage what will happen that is if vg is less than zero see then this figure will like this source grounded drain grounded as it is just see at gate we are applying negative potential you can see sorry uh yeah see here in gate you are applying negative potential so what will happen correct as this is p type substrate so what will happen holes will be attracted by the negative potential which you are applying in the gate so they will accumulate a thick uh, region of holes will accumulate here so that sometimes in some books this uh, domain that is when vg is less than zero this region is also termed as accumulation region why because holes are accumulating here nothing else right so now see here what will happen here already capacitance is formed how in gate there is negative potential that is this conducting plate will be negative then insulator layer of SiO2 or some polysilicon then positive layer of positive conducting layer of holes that is you can say so basically this is nothing but one capacitor okay so basically we can say that when Vg less than 0 then there is a capacitor formed now consider Vg greater than 0 as you know that there are two cases one is vg less than threshold voltage that is zero less than vg less than vth less than equal to vth also you can say or less than vth and here vg is greater than equal to vth better to say okay so basically see if the first condition satisfies you know that there is a formation of depletion region of negative charges in case of nmos i am considering okay in case of pmos there will be depletion region of what positive charges right just reverse of nmos so basically see zero less than vg less than vth so this is one case vg is greater than equal to vth another case now let us try to think see here already you can see that this is the case first let us go to the first case that is when you are applying gate voltage but it is lesser than threshold voltage what is happening depletion region of negative charges is formed right now you just understand here capacitor is forming that is fine but there is a twist what is that twist let us try to understand see you are applying positive potential in the gate uh, of the, the conducting plate of the gate right that is this part so basically this conducting plate of the gate will be what positive charged now there is the insulator layer that is fine that is obviously all time it is there that is SiO2 insulator layer or you can say made up of some polysilicon then see there is this uh, there is this negative charges which are there they are basically forming the depression region they are not conducting plate of the capacitor why because they are immobile they are bonded right see this figure if you know the uh, device operation you know the what the structure indicates see the all the g atoms are bonded so basically what will happen that these negative charges are immobile so immobile means what non-conducting that means the depression region so what will happen this will not acting like another plate of the capacitor that's what the important concept so what will act like another plate uh, another conducting plate of the capacitor see already we got one conducting plate as this one that is the conducting plate uh, or metal strip which is laid on the uh, which is laid on the gate another conducting plate will be p type substrate below the depletion region why because in p type substrate there are free holes until you get free holes or free electrons you cannot say that is conducting right because 
mobile charges cannot conduct or cannot conduct so what will happen now see this whole region which is made up of insulator layer which is already present as sio2 or some other metal oxide layer in between gate and substrate and as well as the negative charges which are there just below the insulator layer this both will form total depletion region in between two conducting plates of the capacitor now see you just consider the previous case and this case previous case was what previous case now you are means this case is when you are applying gate voltage from 0 to vth right so previous case is vgs less than 0 so when vgs less than 0 then there was holes present here right and the uh, gap or distance between the two parallel plates of the capacitor was only dependent on the thickness of the metal oxide layer but now the uh, depletion region or, or a dielectric in between two plates of the capacitor is made up of the thickness of the insulator layer as well as the thickness of the depletion region that means the distance between two parallel conducting plates in the region when 0 less than VTH less than 0 less than VGS less than VTH is satisfied, in that case what is happening that is the total uh, di the difference between two conducting plates of the uh, capacitor is basically increased and you know C is equal to epsilon A by D so as D is increased what will happen the capacitor in between gate and the substrate will decrease okay this is one important concept when we plot the graph it will help us and the next condition is what next condition you just see here when vgs is greater than vth or when gate voltage is greater than vth what is happening that again here formation of channel is happening where there is accumulation of free electrons that means here gate is one conducting plate then insulator layer and then just below of that there is another conducting plate which is formed by the free electrons which came from the downward to the upward direction okay so basically now see again the distance between the two parallel conducting plates of the capacitor becomes only the thickness of the uh, insulator layer that means here, so here also capacitor form and the capacitor this capacitor value and the initial capacitor value when vg was less than zero these two will be almost same because in the both cases epsilon a by d epsilon is anyway is nothing but the uh, it will depend on the thickness it will depend on the material of the oxide layer which is present in between gate and substrate and A is also same and B is also same in between first case and this case that is only B is basically the thickness of the oxide layer. So this case when Vg is greater than Vth and the case when Vg was less than 0 both the case we will get almost same amount of capacitance but in the middle when it is taking transition that is when Vg is in between 0 and threshold voltage what will happen is the width of the depletion region overall width of the depletion region increases that means the distance between two parallel plates increases so that the capacitor value will decrease in this case okay now we can easily draw the graph see step by step we will go we will go so when vg less than zero if you plot cgs with respect to various values of vgs when vgs less than zero we are getting this capacitor and the capacitor is formed due to accumulation of holes just below the insulator layer now when vg is in between 0 to vt in that is in positive direction what will happen see there is decrement of the capacitor value because you know c is equal to epsilon a by d and as d decreases because now there is uh, uh, the distance between the two conducting plates of the capacitor basically increases because now the distance is not only the thickness of the oxide layer as well as the depletion the, it, 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 we have to count the thickness of the depletion region which is formed by the negative charges just below the uh, oxide layer okay so basically as d increases capacitor value decreases and again when vg greater than equal to vt then again free electrons will accumulate just below the insulator layer and that will form the negative plate of the capacitor so basically again now the distance between the two plates of the capacitor will become uh, the thickness of the insulator layer so again capacitance value will increase and it will reach up to the same level in which uh, initially it was there so basically this is what about 
the graph of the uh, capacitance versus get to source potential in case of MOSFET and you just remember this all through this discussion we have made source and drain both as grounded okay this is very very important concept okay sometimes in your quiz component you may get direct NCQ from this they may draw four different graphs of capacitor versus VGS graph and they will ask you what which one is the correct then we if you have the concept without any much uh, uh, time consumption you can say that this is the answer okay in fraction of seconds you can solve like this try to understand this story try to interrupt in, in, uh, try to uh, means uh, visualize this and if you visualize Visualize this, you will never forget this. This is a very important concept on MOSFET, and this is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.